the reason that the capitalistic system is, is crumbling, the reason that that's happening now is from an evolutionary perspective, it's a high growth engine that was designed perfectly for a juvenile species. When you had 200 million people on the planet and they were trying to construct a civilization literally from scratch, they didn't have any tools, they didn't have machinery, they didn't have infrastructure, all they had was this pool of vast natural resources. The notion that we had to have all hands on deck and everybody had to work really hard and we had to grow, grow, grow that civilization made sense. It was just like a, an adolescent boy that eats 12 peanut butter sandwiches a day because he's going through this rapid growth period. If, however, you don't recognize when you hit adulthood that 12 peanut butter sandwiches a day are not going to be good for you because your growth pattern has slowed down, you wind up with morbid obesity. And that's where I think capitalism is at this point in time, is it's this high growth engine adolescent system that's bucking up against the limits of a very mature species and a very mature society. So the time is right for us to start taking a hard look at what does that mean? What does an adult society look like, a mature civilization, versus this high growth engine of adolescence? It's not right or wrong. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with capitalism. Never have said that. I'm simply saying that just as we go through phases of life, we're going through phases of civilization. And at this point in time, it's imperative that we shift our attention to that level of uh, maturation and, and try to figure out how to do that from an evolutionary perspective.